Hey guys and welcome back to Le Peddler. Today I'll be giving you guys my review on the 2020 World Tour bikes that were shown to us during the 2020 Tour Down Under. Um, and if you are a new viewer, I'd appreciate you subscribing down below. That helps out the channel and you will not be disappointed with the amount of content I will be posting this year on a multitude of uh, cycling related topics. And uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, leave a like and I will be getting right into this review. So the first team that we're actually going to be looking at is uh, AG2R La Mondiale. I actually got the opportunity to ride with them um, at the Grand Prix Montreal uh, cycling race here in Canada. And uh, I'll be making a video on that uh, sometime, you know, within the next couple of months. But that was a really cool experience, really great team, very friendly. And uh, the bikes that they're riding are made by Eddie Merckx, so they have a disc brake and a rim brake version. Um, the group set that they have is Dure's Di2. Usually if the team is sponsored by Shimano, they're gonna have usually a lot of Shimano components, obviously. Uh, the wheels are made by Mavic. Um, handlebars and stem is made by uh, Deda. Don't know where they're made from. Um, KMC chain, which obviously explains the signature gold chain. And they have a rotor uh, chain set, which is the chain rings. Pedals are by uh, Look. And those are the Kyo Blade ones, so I'm pretty sure those are the carbon fiber ones. Power meter is made, uh, is made by Rotor as well. And uh, tires are for, for Teza Senso. So I've never seen these. They're not, they're kind of like um, gum wall tires, but they're actually yellow. So that's interesting. I haven't seen that before. And then just looking at the disc brake version, um, very interesting geometry. You know, it's obviously not an aero aero bike, but it's kind of like the best of both worlds between uh, a climbing bike and just very, very, uh, very different from traditional aero, aero bikes because the top two would be a little bit flatter. So um, very interesting. And then, you know, their rim brake bike is pretty traditional from what you see with um, rim brake bikes. So overall, I like, um, if you know their, um, their actual uh, jerseys, it's brown, blue, and uh, white. Don't ask me about the brown bib shorts. I, I, I don't know, okay? In person, it looked pretty cool, but on TV, I don't think so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, like, I like how they have the accents. It, it matches the, the team kit pretty well. So next team we're gonna be looking at is Astana Pro Team, and they are being made, the bikes that they're using are made by Willie A, so I'm pretty sure um, Willie A, Willier, I don't know how you guys pronounce it, but let's say Willie A. Um, and that's called the frame set there is, the, everyone's using disc, a lot of the teams are using disc. I think, uh, I think the teams that are not being forced to, uh, to ride uh, disc are pretty, pretty lucky for at least I would say the climbing stages, uh, but I digress. Um, so this is the Willier Tristina, OSLR, and um, Shimano Darius of course. Um, wheels are made by Karima, don't know that brand. Uh, Willier integrated handlebars that I will show a picture of. It's really nice. It has a really crisp uh, accent. Uh, look keel uh, pedals. Uh, power meter is made by Shimano Durace. So Shimano is actually coming out with their own independent power meters. Uh, tires are made by I think a small brand called Wolfpack. And then there are saddles made by Prologo, Tax Waterball cages, and then Prologo handlebar tape as well. So that's interesting. And then the next team. Oh. Before I go into the next team, their color, their blue is so nice. It's like, um, I don't want to describe it. It's like a mix of, it's like a very nice, I don't know if, if turquoise, turquoise would be, turquoise would be the color. Yeah, I was right, turquoise. Yeah, it's like a really nice turquoise. It matches their uh, outfits really well. And I like the gradient change from uh, black to, uh, to blue. So I really like how they did that. Now, this is the interesting one, okay? Uh, Bahrain McLaren formerly known as Barney Merida. Um, their bike is very interesting. I like the color pattern, their jerseys. We'll get into that on another video, but um, I really like the accents that people are doing. It's more like the, the nice fade. This isn't a fade, obviously this is, the colors goes from black to uh, more like reddish, orange to orange. But overall, not a bad looking bike. Um, this is the Merida Skill Tour Disc, and I guess they have um, another version as well, but that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, obviously made by Shimano Duris Di2, uh, Fulcrum Speed wheels, um, components are all FSA. So one thing I've liked, and I, I've seen this on um, Education First Pro Cycling Team, they use uh, Vision uh, Integrated Handlebar, obviously handlebar and stem. I really just like the look of it. 
Um, and I just like the thickness of the stem. I think it would be an overall good um, good uh, handlebar. But then again, I think any integrated handlebar is better than the, the stock one that comes with everyone's bikes. But uh, I haven't I haven't ridden it per se for like a season, but I've tested it and it, it feels pretty nice. Um, Shimano Durius pedals, um, SRM or Origin Carbon Power Meter, which is very rare to see. Um, not a lot of teams are using SRM now just because bigger sponsors would be either power meters made by Shimano or other more, I'd say not, not relevant, not saying that SRM is totally irrelevant, but uh, they're not very common anymore. And I just think that it, you know, their head units were always very interesting to me because, you know, people like to see when to turn and like, uh, that's another topic also. Uh, tires are made by Continental Competition. Um, I think that's the model Continental Pro LTD and then uh, others are saddles are Pro Logo saddles and they're using Elite bottle cages. Um, yeah, very, very interesting. I just like the paint job. It's very unique. You, you will definitely see it in the Peloton uh, this year. Okay, now this is, this is big leagues, okay? Sagan's bike, what is he riding? So Bora Hansgro, um, obviously Daniel Oss is gonna be riding on this too, which is Sagan's like right hand man during the Cobble Classics. So they have, they have, uh, they have different versions, but uh, we're gonna be looking at the Tarmac versus the Venge. Um, two bikes that I've had the privilege, privilege of riding also. Um, just because in Canada, the, the bikes I've commonly rode, like I've ridden pretty much every bike um, in terms of like, let's say the high end stuff, but um, very unique when you get to ride something that's not common. Like you, I don't know, here in Canada, it's a lot of uh, Cervelos and, uh, and um, what's the other brand? Candale. Candale, Cervelo is pretty, pretty big here um, and Trek. Not, you don't see a lot of uh, uh, S-Works, especially S-Works, yeah. So I've had the pr privilege of writing that. Uh, these are made by um, Duris, uh, Shimano group, group set. Roval Wheels, which is, a, I think, uh, the wheel set that uh, Specialized works with, or they own it or whatever. Uh, components are Pro Handlebars uh, and stems. Pedals are Shimano Duris. Power Meter is by, made by Shimano as well. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of that, which is gonna be crazy because the price for power is only going to go down, which is great for the average consumer. Uh, not so much for uh, power meter companies. Uh, tires are made by Specialized, and those are the S-Works Turbo, or Turbo Cotton. I guess that's the one that has, um, you know, the gum walls. And then uh, Specialized Saddles. See, that's one thing, and then Wahoo Element Bolt, yeah, that, that's their sponsor for their computer system. One thing that's interesting with Specialized is that over the years, they've tried to go more independent with the manufacturing of their own components, like kind of like Giant, but they'll never be Giant, okay? Um, now, funny I, funny I mentioned that, now we're going to CCC team, um, which is um, Giant's, Giant gives their bikes, like they sponsor the team. Um, so frame set, they're using the Giant TCR Advanced SL, rim and disc so that's one thing that i've seen with giant is that they actually offer um they offer the ccc team the ability to use rim or disc where some teams like bora hans grow or specialized they they get they kind of have to choose uh disc um i personally you know not sound biased but i have my own i have my i have my own tcr so i really like the tcr geometry i feel like it's a very nice bike you know um but let's look at the specs. So they're running a full group set, Darius Di2, kind of like all the other teams. Giant just released their new wheel brand, which is Kadex, which is supposed to be Giant's high-end, um, you know, race, race ready, ready components such as wheels and saddles, and I'm pretty sure handlebars and stems as well. Um, components are Giant. Oh, so okay. So the the bikes do come with Giant stock handlebars. I think that's the integrated integrated one. Uh, pedals are Darius um, Shimano pedals. Power meters made by Shimano as well. See, tires are Challenge, which is the, the cotton wall. Oh, I thought they were, wow. Okay, so those tires are made by Challenge. Um, and those are the gum walls, which I love. And then, like I said before, others are the Kato, KDX uh, saddles, which are carbon, and the giant ball cages. And then they have the Propella as well. And the difference between Propella and TCR, TCR is the all around climbing bike where, um, where the, um, what do you call it? The, the Propel is made for aero, so it's, it's their aero bike. So the next team we're gonna be looking at is Cofidis, which is the French team. Elia Viviani, big news was when Sprinter, Italian Sprinter went to their team from um, Quickstep. So he is riding the brand De Rosa. 
I'm pretty sure that is the mur Murrack. Now, this is where it gets into <laughs> interesting territory. Um, they're writing a, a Campagnolo Super Record EPS, so the electric version of Campagnolo for their group set. Uh, fulcrum speed wheels. Components are FSA slash Vision, so I guess they're running maybe handlebars or FSA and then the stem is Vision. Uh, look, KO pedals. SRM Campagnolo for the power meter. Yet again, very interesting where I think obviously they're not with Shimano, so Campagnolo has a deal with SRM, maybe a joint, joint uh, project for power meter. Uh, tires are made by Michelin. And yeah, that's that's uh, Confidus. Wolfpack time. Uh, the Kernick Quick Step. See, I said that properly. That was crisp. That was crisp. So they're going to be riding the same, very, very similar to Boros Hans Grove, but I do like their colors. I do like their colors, or I think that was just, maybe that was just the French national team bike. Um, so they're running the Tarmac and the Venge. Like I said before, Venge is more of the, the sprinter bike. Tarmac's all, the, all around. They use in the mountains as well, or just overall. Very similar to like the TCR overall, overall geometry. Uh, Durace Di2 for the group set. Uh, Roval wheels, tires, same as before. So specialized tires. And those are the turbos and the turbo cotton. And then ceramic speed bottom bracket. Um, Wahoo Element bolt. So they're, they're pretty much exactly sponsored the same as specialized. So all, all that changes is really the colors, right? Next team is EF Pro Cycling, another team that I really do like. Um, I'll get into that in future videos, but I really like what they're doing with their alternative program. Um, so they have two bikes. They're they're sponsored by Candale, so they're riding Candales. And uh, they have the Super 6 Evo, which is the all-around bike, and the System 6, which is their aero bike, more like the crit machine. Uh, sponsored by Durace, uh, Vision Metron wheels, um, FSA slash Vision K-Force for their components. Um, speed plate pedals. That was the first system I ever rode on. I know it's not not related, but interesting pedal system. Um, would love to test again. Uh, power meter is power to max. Um, maybe they have a joint effort with Candale because it says NG Road Candale. Tires are by, made by Victoria Corsa. Um, and then they, they're sponsored for their saddles by Prologo, FSA chain rings, tax ball cages, and then they have Garmin GPSs. So I like, I like the color scheme of that. I like the color scheme. So the next team is Groupama FDJ, another um, French team. They have a very interesting style um, frame um, on one of their bikes, and I'm pretty sure that's more of the all-around bike. So they have the up here is their bike sponsor manufacturer, and they have the Aircode SL, which I'm assuming is the is a disc one, and then the Exilius SL disc, which is the one with the weird cutout, which I think is better for rear uh, damping forces, but very interesting. Um, Shimano Durace, Shimano Durace wheels, Pro handlebars and stem. That's that's the company Pro. Um, pedals are made by Shimano Durace. I think no no Pro Pro handlebars is like they're linked with Shimano as well. Uh, power meter Shimano of course. Continental competition for tires and then Pro Pro logo saddles as well and uh, elite bottle cages. So it's interesting. A lot of Pro logo I've been seeing with a lot of teams. Okay now Israel Startup Nation. Um, uh, Andre Greipel's team. It's nice to see him back at, I would say, pretty sure, the, yeah, they're World Tour this year. So I think before he was on um, Continental team, taking a break. So they're running the Factor. So they're sponsored by Factor. I, I do like Factor bikes. They are coming with some nice, nice bikes. And uh, I've watched a couple of videos explaining the manufacturing process, how they actually own their own factory. So they, they have the O2 VAM and they also have the One. So I'm assuming One's like I said, one is usually for all around, and then you have one that's for um, sprinting. Uh, still discs though, Shimano Durace. Uh, wheels are black ink, never heard of them. Black ink can, oh yeah, okay. No, I've, I've heard of them, I just haven't like used one myself. So I've seen the handlebars, it has like a cool logo. Um, so black handlebar, black ink handlebars and stem, ceramic speed, oversized pulley wheels, those are nice. Very expensive. Um, KMC chains, that would explain the gold. Swiss stop disc brake rotors. Haven't seen those before. I'm usually used to the Durious ones. Um, yeah, very, very, you know, pretty pretty typical looking bike, but pedals are Durious. Four IIII, <laughs> IIII uh, power meters. Haven't seen those in a couple of years. Maxxis high road tires. I'm usually used to seeing Maxxis on mountain bikes. And then Celia Italia saddles. 
ceramic speed play bottom bracket and elite bottle gauges. Interesting, interesting. Lotto Sudell, Caleb Ewing's, uh, you know, team. They're uh, riding Ridley's yet again. Um, and they have they have just the SL SLX disc and the Noah Fast disc. Um, pretty typical, pretty typical geometry. Um, Campagnolo Super Record EPS. So they have two teams now with Campagnolo. Okay, uh, Campagnolo Bora wheels, uh, Deda handlebars and stems. So that company showing up again. Obviously, I don't come familiar with their logo, but I just I haven't seen one in Canada. Uh, Look, Leo Kio pedals, Power Meter SRM, Campagnolo. Tires, Victoria Corsa, Sally Tyler Saddles, and Tax Ball Cages. Not a, not a bad bike. Michelton Scott. Now oh, this is a beast, okay? The Addict RC, which I'm pretty assuming is their all-around bike, and then you have the, the foil, uh, which I've seen, but very rare, still here. Uh, so Shimano Durace, um, Shimano Durace wheels, components, Syncross handlebars and stem. I think that's an integrated system. Shimano Dirty's pedals, power meters made by Shimano. Pirelli, I've seen those pop up now where I am, so those tires are familiar. And then Syncross saddles, tax box bottle cages, and then Garmin GPS. So the next team is Movistar, Narrow Cantana's team. Uh, they are still running Canyon, so you have the Ultimate, and then you have the Arrow Road, Drivetrain is uh, SRAM, Red E Tap Axis, not Shimano. Shrimp. Um, German brand. Uh, wheels are made by Zip. Canyon handlebars and stem. Integrated. Nice. Look keel pedals. Uh, power meter is made by Shram Red Access. Um, Shram, I'm pretty sure. If you guys aren't aware, they uh, I think they bought out. Um, they bought out. Cork. Yeah, Cork. So they bought out of Cork. Um, so they own them for power, and that's you know that's what you have to do sometimes unless you want to. You know, start from scratch, you gotta, you gotta buy out your competitors. NTT Pro Cycling, formerly known as Team Dimension Data. They are still riding BMC, so they're either riding the Time Machine SLR, the Time Machine Road. Um, Shimano Drace, NV Wheels, pretty pretty stock to what they were riding even when they were kinda, when they when they used to be sponsored by uh, Cervelo in terms of uh, components. Uh, NV, NV BMC handlebars and stem KMC chains, rotor chain rings, like, Pretty, pretty much stock, yeah, and these guys were always like sponsored by Rotor. Pedals are made by Shimano Durace, Power Meter Rotor, 2N Power, um, so that's the second team with that. Tires are made by Victoria, and Sally Italia Saddles as well. Team Ineos, uh, Chris Froome's team, um, Egan Bernal's team, you know, Tour de France, so you all see these bikes. Um, Garrett Thomas, of course, so you have the Pinarello Dogma F12 and the Dogma K10. I actually haven't seen I, I'm just used to the Dogma, um, pretty much the stock one that you know every tour has been pretty much one on uh, in recent years. Drive chain Shimano, uh, Shimano Durace Di2, wheels Shimano Durace, components um, uh, most, most handlebars. Uh, pedals Shimano Durace, power meter Shimano Durace, uh, tires Continental, and then Physique Saddles, yeah they've been, they've been sponsored by Physique for a long time, and then Elite Bottle Cages, which I think might be new. So the next team is Team Jumbo Visma, and you have the uh, Bianchi, Italian company, Ultra XR4, and then, like I said, you always have to have one that's more, <laughs> more aero, and then the other one that's more, I think, all around. Uh, sponsored by Shimano, uh, for the group set, wheels are made by Shimano, FSA components for the handlebar and stem, or uh, yeah, Vision, yeah, I think I think they're like all intertwined. Vision, uh, FSA, and then Metron. Uh, Shimano pedals, power meters made by Shimano as well. Tires are Victoria Corsa, and then you have Physique saddles and tax ball cages. And then you have, yeah, so you can see a lot of companies are just going straight, like if they're already sponsored by Shimano, there's no need to have a uh, power meter sponsor. Uh, Team Sunweb with Cervelo, and they have two options. They're the ones with the weird handlebars. Um, so they have the R5 and the R3, which are their two go-to bikes. I've personally owned uh, the R3, so um, not, not, not a bad bike, pretty pretty all-around good bike. Uh, Shimano Durace, that's what the group set comes with, the wheels are Shimano Durace as well. Uh, components are Cervelo, and then that's that's for the weird handlebar, um, and then the one that goes like Woo! looks like a, a pizza that someone ate in the middle. Um, then you have uh, Pro handlebars and stem, Shimano pedals, power meters, Shimano, 
Continental Competition Pro tires and then Pro saddles and Elite Ball cages and then Sigma GPS computers. That is new. So Sigma, I think that's a with Sigma Sports. The Sigma GPS is brand new. Next team is Trek Segafredo. You have the Madone and the Amanda. So one is more of the climbing bike, the other one's more of the racy bike, um, aero bike. Um, and then you have, they're sponsored by SRAM uh, Red ETAP Access, so 12 speed group set. Bontrager is a subsidiary of Trek, so they make the wheels, Bontrager handlebars and stems, so that's integrated. And then Shimano Dre's pedals, SRAM Red Access Power Meter, with obviously partnership with Cork. They bought out Pirelli tires and Bontrager saddles. So kind of similar to the Giant when they, or Specialized when they start making their own components, right? Final team is UAE Team Emirates. Uh, they have Alexander Kristoff as their main sprinter, and they're riding Colnagles. Uh, they have two options. I think one's obviously the more sprinting one, so it's either the Colnagel V3R or the Concept. Um, Campagnolo Super Record EPS, which is the electronic group set of Campagnolo. Campagnolo Bora wheels. Components is dead of handlebars yet again. They keep popping up. Uh, pedals are made by Look Keel. Power meter, stages, Campagnolo. So, you saw that before with um, with uh, SRM, they they had like a they did like a joint effort with the Campagnolo stages. I guess did one with Campagnolo here, um, and I think that's just Campagnolo eventually has to get uh, manufacturing their own power meters over. You know, it'll, it'll be interesting, or they'll keep having to do these um, collapse. Uh, Victoria Victoria Corsa tires and then Prologue yet again saddles, elite bottle cages and stages uh, GPS computers. Yeah, I've never seen a stages GPS computer, so that's that's pretty interesting. So guys, I'll give you my opinion on which bike I like the most, um, and then I'll give you which one's the most unique, which one's the cleanest, and then which one's probably the worst, okay? So which bike do I find the nicest? I'd probably have to go with the Astana, uh, Astana's Willier. Just the blue and how nice that blue is and how seamlessly it gets faded in on the on the down tube, it's just it's just nice, and I just like it's like and it matches the colors. It's very seamless and unique, and definitely you can see that bike when uh, the races are on. So I would have to give it which bike that I like it would have to be that one. Now the most unique bike in the peloton. Mm, that's a hard one because you know a lot of people are just sticking it very simple, simple nowadays, but probably have to give it for the most unique style bike would have to give it to uh, EF Education their bikes went along they have like a an 80s theme going on with their jerseys this year I really liked their um, their jerseys last year I like their team colors last year I like their team bikes but this year they went for an interesting design but for uniqueness I would have to give it to them definitely will not be able to miss the pink they're literally the only team in the pro peloton that I know of that uses pink so uh, I really do find their bikes the most unique. The bike that I found the absolute cleanest would have to be uh, CCC. I just like pure black, really nice. Um, giant stands out in white, white and black. I, I really can't hate. And then the worst bike I would have to give it to would probably be Lapierre with that with that rear rear uh, seat tube or yeah rear seat rear seat tube is just so weird. And then you have. Um, on the top tube as well, it's just weird. So um, that is my 2020 uh, World Tour bike review. Kind of long, if you guys did enjoy it, I, I really like going into this stuff. Um, and uh, I've seen these bikes actually in person now, so it's kind of cool from you know seeing on the computer to seeing in real life. Um, but yeah, th these are the bikes. And uh, it's interesting to see as technology goes and what the World Tour riders are riding and how maybe you know, you can adopt some of their uh, components onto your bike. Not a necessity, but very interesting to see what the pros are riding and kind of, you know, see if you can uh, tailor some of the things that they, they use to your bike. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash the like button, subscribe. I'm going to be releasing a lot more content. So please comment what would you guys like to see. And uh, other than that, keep on pedaling. Le Peddler out.